In this BMC Helix Control Arm video, we will explore the different modes the agent process can use when running on a Linux host. The agent can run in one of the following modes, none, non-root, sudo, or root. None means that the agent Linux user starts the processes and is the only run as user that can submit jobs. In non-root mode, the agent Linux user also starts the processes, but the run as user in the jobs can be any valid user accessible on that host. Those users must first be registered within Control-M. In sudo mode, the agent processes similarly start as the Linux user hosting the Control-M software, but instead, your run as users are registered in the operating system's sudoers file. Finally, in root mode, the processes run as the Linux root user and jobs submit as any run as user accessible on that host, but without the need to register the users first. The set underscore agent underscore mode command is the one that lets you configure whatever mode is desired in your environment. Let's take a look at an example. In this window, I am logged in as the agent user and will run the command sh agent. This shows you what user the agent currently runs as. It does not show the current mode, but lets you quickly see if root mode or one of the non-root modes is in use. In this case, the agent is running as agsas2. To check or change the mode, I have logged in as root in this session and navigated to the agent user's home directory and into the ctm scripts directory. From here, we can run the command dot slash set underscore agent underscore mode. It is important that you are in the scripts directory when running this command as root so that it knows exactly which agent to update. Hit enter at this point to confirm the agent username. Once in the menu, the first item is the current mode. Because it is set to none at the moment, I am only allowed to run jobs as agsas2. Switching to control M, for example, in monitoring, I have a job that runs a simple echo command where the run as user is the agent user agsas2. I'll confirm this job, and we can see that it runs just fine. I have another job that is running the same exact command, but as the user EM918, which is a valid Linux user, but not the agent user. After confirming this job, we see that it fails, and the job log shows a message that non-root mode was not enabled, and it suggests that we can use the setAgentMode command to enable it. So to give other Linux users the ability to execute jobs, I'll need to get back to the root user and the set agent menu here. Select number one for enable non-root mode, and we see a brief explanation of what changes it makes. Select Y to restart the agent. After the restart, now if we rerun the same job, we see that it is successful after changing to a different mode. As another example, if I simply stop the agent as agsas2 and then restart it next time as root, I'm effectively changing the mode. So the start ag command would ask me to run set agent mode separately to change to root mode. Always perform these additional steps to complete the security updates that need to occur on various files and directories. Even though the agent processes might start correctly, following these additional instructions is very important. Thank you for watching this BMC Helix Control M Solutions video. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.